Hello everyone, very good morning. Myself Sia Verma. I hope you all are doing very well. And today we will be discussing the most important arms issues of 20th March 2024. Also, these questions are part of daily 20 arms issue series, which is available on GK Today app. And if you want to support GK Today financially, then please do subscribe on GK Today app. Else, we are unable to survive for long time. So let's start with our session, and the very first question is: Noctis volcano, a recently discovered massive volcano, was found on which planet? So recently, researchers have uncovered a monumental discovery on Mars, a colossal volcano named Noctis volcano. Basically, its dimension is nine zero two two in height and four fifty kilometer wide. It is. which makes it almost 200 meter taller than mount everest if we talk about its location then as shown in the picture noctis is found in a place called eastern noctis labyrinthus which is to the south of mars equator and also it is close to the another cool feature called valles marineris which is like a Hills Canyon system on the planet Mars. Fine. So scientists did not just randomly find this volcano by looking through a telescope. They used data from different space missions like NASA's and ESA's, just like Mariner Nine, Viking Orbiter One and Two, Mars Global Surveyor, Mars Odyssey, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter mission. and also esa european space agency's mars express mission fine we can define its location on the basis of eastern side of a big raised area called tharsis as shown tharsis so basically there are three giant volcanoes named ascraeus mons located in north pavonis located in center and arcia located in south these are the three largest volcanoes in the entire solar system and that's why this whole region is called tharsis region so on the basis of tharsis region we can locate its location on the eastern side of a big raised area called tharsis basically a broad regional topographic rise fine so you just have to remember two things noctis volcano the planet is mars and its location is on the eastern side of tharsis region and also three giant volcanoes on the entire solar system which is ascraeus pavonis and arcia so here the keyword is volcano so let's move to the some questions regarding volcano which came into the current affairs of the past month so the first question is the recent eruption of mount alon volcano happened in which country so the answer is papua new guinea next is mount st helens is an active stratovolcano located in which country so it is located in usa taupe volcano which was seen in the news is located in which country so it is in new zealand and the last mount fagradels fjall is a volcano situated in which country so it is situated in iceland fine let's move to the next question so the next question is according to a report by traffic and wwf india which state has stopped in the illegal trade of shark body parts so in india there is a problem with illegal trading of shark body parts like there so recently according to 2024 analysis by traffic and wwf india tamil nadu has stopped the illegal trade of shark body part in india between 2010 to 22 approximate 65% of all the shark body parts seized in india came from tamil nadu and hence tamil nadu became the biggest contributor to this illegal trading system fine generally these parts were being sent to places like singapore hong kong sri lanka and mainland china so the key word is traffic generally traffic it is the wild life trade monitoring network established in 1976 and its headquarters at cambridge in uk 
Traffic came to India in 1991, operating as a division of WWF India. Fine. So the keyword is report. So let's move to some revision session regarding reports. First question is, what is the rank of India in the Global Human Development Index according to UNDP's latest report? So India ranked 134. Next is, which organization recently published a first national report on AMR surveillance in India's fisheries livestock sectors for 2019-22? So, it's, uh, the report is published by FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization. Next is, according to the SIPRI report, which country ranked as the world's leading arms importer from 19 to 23 and the country is India itself. Next is, according to recent released CEEWS report, which of the following states have been placed on the top in water management? So, the states are basically Haryana, Karnataka and Punjab. Fine, let's move to the next question and the next is, Recently, the Indian Navy has set up its first independent headquarters named Nausena Bhavan at which place? So, finally, the Indian Navy has got its own dedicated headquarter building in Delhi. So, the answer is Delhi. The newly constructed Nausena Bhavan located at Delhi, formally inaugurated by Defence Minister Sri Rajnath Singh on March 15, 2024. Fine. So, you just have to remember, uh, first independent headquarter named Nausena Bhavan at Delhi. So, the keyword is Indian Navy. So, basically the motto of Indian Navy is Sham No Varunaha. And we celebrate 4 December as a Navy Day. Currently, the CNS is Mr. R. Hari Kumar. Also, for Army COAS is General Manoj Pandey and for Air Force CAS is Vivek Ram Chaudhary. Fine, let's move to the revision session. Which naval ship was recently decommissioned after 38 years of service to the Indian Navy? So the answer is INS Nirupak. So, recently, Ionis Nirupak was decommissioned after 38 years. Also, there are some other, INS Cheeta, Gildar and Kumbhir. These are also decommissioned after 40 years of service to the Indian Navy. Next is, who has been appointed as the Director General of Naval Operation Indian, in the Indian Navy? So, Vice Admiral A.N. Pramod. Next is, which military exercise did the Indian Navy's P-8I aircraft participate in Guam? So, the exercise name is Sea Dragon 2024. Fine. Next is, which elite unit of Indian Navy was involved in the successful rescue of 21 crew members, including 15 Indians, from the Liberian flag vessel MV Leela Norfolk recently? So, the Indian Navy, the elite unit is Marcos. Fine. Let's move to the next question. Next is, what is the theme of the National Vaccination Day 2024? So, National Vaccination Day happens every year on 16th of March. And this year's theme is Vaccines Work for All. So, the answer is Vaccines Work for All. The day started back in 1995 with India's Pulse Polio Vaccination Program which aimed to get rid of polio. And also, it's a way to remember WHO, World Health Organization's efforts to get rid of polio since 1988. Fine. So, you just have to remember National Vaccination Day celebrated on 16th March. And this year, the theme is Vaccines Work for All. Fine. Let's move to the revision session. The day questions of the March. What is the theme of the World Consumer Rights Day 2024? The theme is Fair and Responsible AI for Consumer. Next is, which day is celebrated as International Day of Mathematics every year? So, 14th March is the answer. Next is, what is the theme of International Day of Action for Reverse 2024? 
so the theme is water for all next is which day is celebrated as cisf rising day every year so 10th march next is which day is celebrated as jan aushadhi day every year 7th march what is the theme of international women's day 24 so accelerate progress is the theme which day is observed as international disarmament and non proliferation awareness day every year so 5th march is the answer and which day is observed as national safety day in india 4th march fine let's move to the next question and the next is recently indian army aviation corps has established its first apache attack helicopter unit at which place so recently the indian army aviation corps has set up its first unit of apache aviation helicopters in jodhpur rajasthan fine also indian army has raised its first squadron named 451 aviation squadron to operate these apache attack helicopters from jodhpur rajasthan so generally these helicopters called ah 64e apaches are joining the indian army's fleet alongside another helicopter called lch light combat helicopter which is made in india let's come back to some history points so generally in fab 2020 india signed a deal worth around 800 dollar million with boeing in us for six apache helicopters attacking helicopters also indian army aviation corp has so far operated only utility helicopters and with apache helicopter india introduced its first dedicated attack helicopters also note the first lch squadron lch light combat helicopter squadron so the first lch squadron 351 army aviation was deployed in misamari assam near lc in 2022 so first lch squadron in assam near lc in november 2020 2022 fine let's move to the revision session and the first question is who has become the first woman to hold the rank of subedar in indian army so the answer is priti rajak next is the venue of exercise tokchi of indian army was nasik maharashtra so answer is nasik maharashtra Next is what is the name of the secure army mobile ecosystem recently launched by the Indian Army? So the answer is Sambhav. And on which day the Indian Army Day is observed in India? So fifteenth Jan. Fine. Let's move to the next question. Next is which ministry has consistently ranked amongst the top ten ministries in grievance redressal? assessment index for 2324 grai index so every year there is something called grievance redressal assessment index grai which ranks how well different government ministries handle and solve people's complaints and problems so recently ministry of home affairs mha has consistently ranked among the top 10 ministries in grai index so the grai index basically conceptualized and designed by darpg department of administrative reforms and public grievances so you just have to remember ministry of home affairs consistently ranked among the top 10 ministries in grai index also for 23 and 24 fine let's move to some ministries regarding revision questions recently which ministry collaborated with iit roorkee in in automotive and ev sector so ministry of heavy industries next is pm suraj portal recently seen in the news is implemented by which ministry so ministry of social justice and empowerment fine next is prasar bharti shared audio visuals for broadcast and dissemination pb shop is recently launched by which ministry 
सो मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड ब्रॉडकास्टिंग फाइन नेक्स्ट इज इलेक्ट्रिक मोबिलिटी प्रमोशन स्कीम ट्वेंटी फोर रिसेंटली सीन इन द न्यूज इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय विच मिनिस्ट्री सो इट इज ऑल्सो इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ है इंडस्ट्रीज फाइन लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट इज रिसेंटली हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू चेयरमैन ऑफ प्रसाद भारती सो रिसेंटली द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया अपॉइंटेड रिटायर्ड आई एस ऑफिशियल नवनीत कुमार सहगल एज द न्यू चेयरमैन ऑफ प्रसार भारती विच इज कंट्री पब्लिक ब्रॉडकास्टर एंड हिस्स टर्म विल लास्ट फॉर थ्री इयर्स टिल द एज ऑफ सेवेंटी इयर्स ऑल्सो प्लीज नोट दिस पोस्ट वॉज वेकेंट फॉर लास्ट फोर इयर्स and mr sagal succeeds surya prakash whose term ended in fab 2020 so surya prakash is the last chairman of prasar bharti and his term ended on fab 2020 and recently the new appointee is navneet kumar sahgal so you just have to remember the new chairman of prasar bharti is navneet kumar sahgal fine let's move to the some revision questions of appointments first is recently who has been appointed as the chairman of central board of secondary education cbse so the answer is rahul singh next is recently who has been appointed as lokayukt of madhya pradesh so satendra kumar so the name is satendra kumar as a lokayukt of madhya pradesh fine next is recently who has been appointed as the chairman of national commission for scheduled caste nccs so mr kishor makwana answer is kishor makwana next is who has been appointed as the new chief secretary of bihar so the answer is brajesh marhotra fine let's move to the next question next question is pandavala gutta recently seen in the news is officially recognized as the solo geo heritage site of which state so the answer is telangana so recently pandavala gutta a special place in the state of telangana and also it is famous for its rock art why it is in the news recently gsi geographical survey of india established in 1851 organized a walk there to help people understand and appreciate the unique geology of this area some facts about this place is first fact is this place is actually older than himalaya mountains and located in jayashankar district of telangana jayashankar district of telangana sorry and the other fact is it also has some ancient cave paintings which is from the paleolithic era please also note currently india has total 34 national geological heritage sites monument site and gsi is responsible for identifying and protecting these sites and the recent identify two geological sites is in the indian himalaya region first is sivalik fossil park which is in himachal pradesh and second is limestone of baksa formation which is in sikkim so recently identify two geological sites are in himachal pradesh and sikkim and there are total 34 geological heritage monument site in india fine let's move to the next question so the next question is recently who received the prestigious pv narsimha rao memorial award for his philanthropy work so the answer is ratan tata so recently mr ratan tata the former chairman of tata sons received the pv narsimha rao memorial award 2024 for his philanthropy work and this takes place in mumbai fine other honors and awards of mr ratan tata sir is padma vibhushan in 2008 and also padma bhushan in 2000 please also note pv narsimha rao is the 10th pm from 1991 to 1996 of india and he was posthumously awarded 
दी भारत रत्न भारत रत्न इंडियाज हाइएस्ट सिविलियन ऑनर ऑन नाइन नाइन फैप ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सो रिसेंटली पोस्टली अवॉर्डेड दी भारत रत्न इंडियाज हाइएस्ट सिविलियन ऑनर ऑन नाइन फैप ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर टू मिस्टर पी वी नरसिम्हा राव Who was the tenth PM from nineteen ninety one to nineteen ninety six? Fine. Let's move to some revision questions. So next is recently who has received the Maharashtra Bhushan Award twenty twenty four in recognition of his contribution to the field of regenerative medicine? So the answer is Pradeep Mahajan. Next is recently, which ministry has been honored with the award for best performance in accounts during the financial year twenty three twenty four? So the ministry is Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Fine. Payjal Survection Award recently seen in the news is an initiative of which ministry? So Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs is the answer. Fine. Next is. Recently, which Indian food brand became the first to win an international taste award? So the answer is Prasuma. The Indian food brand became the first to win a international taste award is Prasuma. Let's move to the next question, and the next is. So next question is recently, how many prisons across the country has certified as Eat Right Campus by the FSI? so recently the food safety and standard authority of india fsi certifies nearly 100 prisons as eat right campus nationwide under this campus are rated on five star scale needing three star for certification also note the eat right india movement is in line with nhp national health policy 2017 and its launch year is 2018 led by fsi so eat right india movement is led by fsi launched in 2018 and it is live with nhp 2017 and its tagline also please note its tagline sahi bhojan behtar jeevan so with this we are winding up our session and now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see four questions which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your answers in the comment box please be honest so that's all for today i hope you have liked it